Hi everyone! Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Alphabet Soup, we choose a letter from the alphabet and we draw food that starts with that letter. So let's draw! Today's letter is the letter P. P is for popcorn and P is for pop. So I'm going to show you how to draw this snack of popcorn and soda pop. So let's begin! This is what you'll need for today's drawing lesson. You're going to need a piece of drawing paper. I have a dollar store drawing pad. It's eight and a half by 11 inches wide. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and if you have an old paintbrush lying around, this is great for wiping away dust and bits of eraser. Just make sure you haven't used it for painting. If you have a ruler handy, you could use it. You may not necessarily need it, but you could use it. And for color, we have red, yellow, brown, black. These are all coloring pencils. You could always use crayons if you want. And I have a fine liner black ink pen. Fine liner just means the tip is very small. This is optional. You don't need this. Okay, so why don't we clear off our workspace and we can begin. I already have some cat hair here, so that's where this paintbrush comes in handy. I have cats and dogs, so sometimes you might hear those in the background. So why don't we write out the word popcorn, since P is for popcorn. So let's first draw a capital P. And let's draw a small p. Okay, let's write out popcorn. There's two words in popcorn, so let's do a capital P. O. And a small p. That's pop. And now we're going to draw a capital C for the second word, O, R, and N, popcorn. And we're also going to draw a pop bottle, so we've got the word pop here. Some people call it soda pop. It's a pop bottle. <laughs> okay, let's take our pencil and we'll draw our popcorn. And this is where I've got my ruler. But first what we're going to do is we're going to draw a V, but it's not going to be like a regular V. It's going to be a wide V. I'm going to show you. You could use a ruler for this if you want. See, it's like a wide V. Okay, now I'm going to use my ruler and in the middle of the V, I'm going to draw a short line straight down. Not too long, just about like that. And a straight line right across. Don't press too hard on this because we are going to erase this line, okay? But I just want to show you so that it'll give you a little bit of a visual. Just a straight line across the bottom, which we are going to erase. Now at the end of each of these V's, let's draw another straight line down. And if you're good, you don't need a ruler. I'm not good at drawing straight lines. So I always need a ruler. There we go. All right. Now what we're going to do is at the bottom here, we're going to draw another one of those. I've got cat hair everywhere. <laughs> another one of those V shapes here. You don't need a ruler. A line up there. Oh, I need a ruler. <laughs> Mine is not going to be straight, so I definitely need a ruler. Okay, a wide V. There we go. That's better than my shaky line. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to erase everything underneath that wide V at the bottom. 
that straight line and these two lines here, okay? And if you accidentally erase something that you didn't want to, no big deal. All you're going to do is just draw it back in again. Okay? Let me see here. I erased some of that. There we go. So that's our popcorn box. Now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw some eyes because we don't want to lose our eyes because we're going to be putting some stripes. So if you know me, you know that I love those big oval eyes, the egg-shaped eyes. So I'm going to put one on each side of the popcorn box. And inside, I'm going to put eyeballs or they're not eyeballs, they're called pupils, but I'm going to make him looking up and I think he, he is a he, so I'm putting them on the top. Usually I put them on the bottom, but I'm going to put it on the top because he's going to be looking up at his own popcorn. <laughs> and let's give him a big smile. Okay, for now that's okay, we'll leave it like that. Now we want to put stripes on the popcorn box, but we don't want to draw through the eyes. So I want you to be very careful with that. Remember that middle line here? Let's just draw a straight line next to it to make a stripe. It doesn't have to be too thick, but it might go through his eye. So I'm going to be careful and watch. I'm not going to draw the line through his eye, but just on either side. You see? That's our first stripe. Now, I want you to take your red coloring pencil and I want you to color in that stripe right away because it could get a little confusing when we draw a lot of lines. Usually we draw everything in pencil first and then we add color, but in this case, I want you to start filling in some red there. And don't get any into the eye at all. And if you're using a coloring pencil or a crayon, don't press too hard and turn it once in a while. Turn it, turn it. Because if you always color in and you don't turn your pencil, it's going to wear down all on one side and the tip will break and you have to keep sharpening. And we want to keep our art supplies as long as we can because they can get a little bit expensive. So I'm turning my pencil and I'm not pressing down hard at all. Just filling in that stripe all the way. We'll just leave it at that for now. Usually I tell you we're going to put in a second layer, which means we're going to color it in a second time. We can do all that later. Let's just get all the stripes in there. So now we're going to put another one kind of in the middle here, wherever you want. So I'm going to draw it straight down, if I can do a straight line. And I want to make it about the same thickness here. So just like that. See what I mean how it can get confusing? Because now it looks like we have two stripes. So if we did all these lines, we might have gotten confused and we wouldn't have known where to put the red color. So in my stripe here, I'm going to color that in red right away so I don't get confused. Don't press too hard and turn your pencil. I have my washer and dryer going, so you might be hearing some stuff in the background. It's a November day today, but it feels like summer outside. It's crazy. Where I live here in the Northern Hemisphere, the north part of the world, usually we have snow by now, but it, I walked around in shorts this morning. Crazy weather. Okay, so we're gonna leave it like that for now until we get all four of our stripes. Now the next stripe is going to be kind of going through his eye here. So let's be careful not to get it in his eye. Just draw 
stop at the eye and draw right down. It's okay if you get his smile, that's no big deal. And then another line about the same thickness or something like that, all the way down. Okay. Now let's do the same thing. Let's color in that stripe and don't get any in the eye. Don't forget to turn your pencil. And don't press too hard. Because sometimes if we press down too hard, our hand starts to get tired. And that's no fun when we want to be drawing, we want to have fun. Turning my pencil. There we go. Now the last stripe is going to be at the very edge of that side of the popcorn container. So we only have to draw one line all the way down. I can put my ruler away now because we don't need that anymore. So let's color in that stripe here. Don't forget to turn your pencil. Another reason why we don't press hard is because we don't want to break the tip of the pencil always, all the time, you know? I don't like to stop in the middle of a drawing to have to sharpen my pencils. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to give, to draw in a second layer add a second layer of color to all the red and all that means is we're coloring it in a second time and again no need to press down very hard but always turn your pencil and I think you can see right away the difference between one layer of red and two layers of red I think two is always nice and you can definitely put in three layers if you like. That's up to you. If you want a deeper red, put in three layers. But always turn your pencil. There, two layers, much nicer than one, I think. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill in a second layer of red on all the stripes. And if you want to get technical, some of you may know this already from my other videos, we are adding a second layer of pigment. Pigment is the medium that we're using to add color. So if we were painting, our paint would be our second layer of pigment. We have coloring pencils, so our coloring pencil is being used to apply a second layer of pigment. Now you can sound like a real artist. Not a real artist a professional artist, let's say, because <laughs> we're all real artists. Everything we do is creative and artistic and original because your drawing is not going to look like mine or anybody else's and I don't want you to ever, ever compare yourself to anybody else because whatever you do is beautiful. Whatever you do is creative and amazing always remember that. All right, so I've got Mr. Popcorn's box all colored in. <laughs> now let's draw some popcorn. Now popcorn is kind of easy. It's basically, let me see, let me see if I can show you up close. I'll get a scrap paper here if I've got one. Here we go. Now you don't have to do this, but you can if you want to practice. Pretend we have our little popcorn box here, right? 
So popcorn is looking almost like a, a flower, like that. Okay, just really, really easy. Okay, so we'll start with the middle at the bottom of the V. And we'll just fill in a whole bunch of popcorn. And I guess I use three circles. I, you could do more. One, two, three, four, or three, or five. Just make your popcorn look nice and fluffy. <laughs> and we're going to fill it up. Fill up that box with popcorn. Maybe one more over here. Lots of popcorn in there. How are you guys doing? Did you get the hang of it? Okay, so I think our popcorn is done. Now we can add some color. What we can do is take our yellow and just color in all of that popcorn. Just color it in really lightly just like with the red, don't press down too hard. And turn your pencil once in a while. And you don't have to worry about doing one at a time, one at a time. They're all yellow. So let's get them all colored in. Turning your pencil. And what I'm doing when I color with pencils, I always do circles. I don't do straight lines. I, I color in with circles because I think it looks nicer. I don't like to see straight lines when I'm coloring. And we are definitely going to be putting at least one more layer, so don't worry if you see any white spots underneath. We can put in more layers just to cover everything up. Just try not to get any of the yellow onto the popcorn box if you can. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second layer very lightly because I like my popcorn very buttery. Don't forget to turn your pencil. You know, I haven't gone to the movies in a long time. Ever since I moved out to the mountains many, many years ago, I don't really go into the cities anymore. I kind of like to make popcorn and sit at home and watch movies. I think that's a lot more fun. Not as expensive. And I can watch in my PJs. <laughs> don't have to get all dressed up. I love having movie night. All right. I like my second layer. It's very yellow. It's very, very yellow. How's yours doing? Do you like a lot of butter on your popcorn? <laughs> I'm kind of going over it a third time. So a third layer just to get any spots that I missed. All right. Very cool. Now let's take our brown color. And you know when you have a kernel of popcorn, there's always that little spot in the middle where the actual corn popped and it's always a little brown. So in the middle of each one, I'm kind of putting in just, oh, you see what happened? I pressed too hard and I broke the tip of my pencil. 
don't do what I do, don't press down too hard. <laughs> so kind of in the middle, no, nothing special, just somewhere on each popcorn, put a little brown circle. Okay, and we're only going to do one layer of that because it doesn't have to be dark. It's just to give the image, you know, the idea that it's a, it's a kernel of popcorn. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is take black, or if you have a fine liner marker, I'm going to outline the eyes with my black, with my marker. And like I said, if you don't have a marker, go ahead and use a black coloring pencil and outline the entire eye, the pupil on the inside too. Okay. And I think I'm going to outline the box as well. I'm not going to outline each piece of popcorn, but I think I want to outline the box. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that I'll leave that up to you if you want to do that or not. I just think it's going to make it stand out a little more. And I have to use my ruler because I won't be able to draw a straight line with a marker. You can't erase a marker. <laughs> there we go. And maybe this V as well here just to make the box stand out, like I said. There. And I'm gonna outline his smile. Now I'm going to take my black coloring pencil and fill in the pupils of his eyes. And again, I'm not pressing down very hard at all. If you want, you could use a marker to do this. I'm not using my marker just because I noticed it's kind of running out of ink and I don't have another one near me. So we're going to be using them. I'm going to be using the marker to outline something else that we're drawing. So I want to make sure I have enough ink. I'm going to go ahead and put in a second layer of black because I want his eyes to be nice and dark so that they stand out really well. And I'm turning my pencil. See the difference between one layer and two layers? And all it takes is just putting more color on instead of trying hard to press down and get it dark, you just need to put a second layer on. That's it. Look at him. Oh, I forgot. I want to give him a tongue because his popcorn is delicious. So look here in the white area. Let's give him a little tongue. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and I'm going to take my red coloring pencil and color in his tongue with two layers right away. He knows he's delicious. <laughs> I'm going to give him some eyebrows too. Just some eyebrows there. And I think he's done. But whenever you eat popcorn, you need to drink something, right? So why don't we draw a pop bottle? I'm going to draw with my pencil and I'm kind of making this up as I go, so I might have to erase, but I'm going to try to draw a little pop bottle. So watch how I do this. Kind of making it come out here and go down like this. Straight at the top and then it comes out, curves in, and goes out at the bottom. And we're going to put a bottle cap. So kind of zigzaggy lines on the bottom here and like a cap on the top. There's the bottle cap. 
Now here in the middle, I'm gonna, I want to label it. I want the label on it. I'm not going to write Coke or Pepsi or Crush or anything like that. I'm going to write the words, the word, pop. Now watch how I do this. This is going to be different. We're not going to draw it like this. We're going to draw it so that it will remain white. And I'm going to show you, okay? First, let's draw the P. Just watch how I do it first. See what I'm doing? And then I'm putting a little circle. You see that? I'll give you a second to draw that if you like. And if you didn't get it the first time, just erase. You have to get used to uh, drawing. Okay, now watch how I do the O. The O is kind of easy. We do an O. And then a little circle in the middle. Alright, now we're going to do another P, exactly like this one. And like I said, erase if you need to. There. Because I've never shown you how to do that before. So there you go, there's your pop bottle. Now you can choose whatever color you want for your pop bottle. Whenever I eat popcorn, I like to drink Coke or Pepsi. So I'm going to take my black coloring pencil and I'm actually going to draw a little squiggly line up here because that's where the liquid stops. And I'm going to color in, I'm not going to color in the label, but I'm going to color in this part and this part with black. And if you like Orange Crush, you can color it in orange. If you like root beer, you can color it in brown. Grape soda, you could color it in purple. I love grape soda. <laughs> I just love that stuff. It's so good. But today I'm sticking with a cola. And all of this too, coloring in all of that with my black. And I'm not pressing down hard. I'm going to try to stay in the line. My pop bottle's a little, I don't know, misshapen. <laughs> it looks like dishwasher detergent or something. But we're not trying to be perfect, right? We just want to have fun. Now don't forget to turn your pencil. I'm turning my pencil and I'm not pressing down too hard. And I'm just drawing in circles, coloring in circles. What's your favorite soda or pop, soda pop? Or do you drink soda pop? Some people don't. I don't that often, just once in a while when I have popcorn. Or sometimes I like soda pop when I have french fries and hamburgers or something like that. What I call junk food. <laughs> Alright, I've filled all that in. I'm going to go in and put in a second layer right away. not to get anything in that label. I don't want black in the label. Don't forget to turn your pencil or your crayon. You could also do this with markers. In that case you don't have to turn them and you don't have to apply a second layer because markers are very um, very strong. The pigment in the marker is um, more intense than in a crayon or in a coloring pencil.
Do you have a favorite movie? Is there any movie that you've watched over and over and over? <laughs> I have several that I have watched over and over and over and one of those is the Walt Disney movie Aladdin. I love that movie. All right, pretty good. How you guys doing? So the last color that we're going to use is red again. For the bottle cap, let's fill that in red. Be careful not to get any in that part of the bottle. We just want the cap to be red. Take your time doing this. Now this is where I use straight lines when I have to be careful not to get any outside of the lines. You know, I used a straight line in, in those little zigzags. I went up like that. You can do the same thing. And I'm just going to quickly put in another layer. I want to be careful though. we go. Now for the label, I don't want you to put any red inside the letters. In the little circles, yes, but don't put any inside the letters. Let's start with coloring all around the letters and let's be very careful. I want you to take your time doing this. because I want the letters to stay white. And the reason I want them to stay white is because I was looking at a Coca-Cola bottle and the Coca-Cola letters are all white like this. So I thought, oh, that would be neat. Maybe I'll make it look like a Coca-Cola bottle. You see, I'm going around it. right in between the letters. Like I said, take your time. There's no rush to finish this. We're doing this to have fun and to learn how to draw. There. You see what I did there? Now I'm going to go ahead and just put in a second layer. I'm going to be careful not to get any into the letters. Not to get any red, that is, into the letters. And if you do this drawing again, you can always do a bigger pop bottle and you can actually write Coca-Cola or Orange Crush or Grape Soda. You have to write the letters smaller <laughs> so that they fit on the label. Or you can make a really big one and you'll have lots of room. Okay, how are you guys doing? Now what I'm going to do is in the P's, there's those little circles and then the O. I'm going to color in those circles. And I'm going to do it a second layer right away. There. Now it, I'm going to use that word, now it really pops out. <laughs> the pop pops out. The popcorn pops too. Lots of popping here. <laughs> now what I'm taking is my marker and I'm just going to go around the side of the bottle. Again, just to make it stand out a little bit better. And this is optional. You don't have to do this. It's your choice. I might actually outline everything. I think I'm going to outline everything. The little jagged pieces here for the bottle cap too.
trying to concentrate so I can't talk while I'm doing this. Okay, and the label too, I'm going to outline. There. And I'm going to outline my letters. Try to be careful here. Like I said, I want them to pop. I want the colors to pop. great. And there's another thing actually I want to do. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but let's try it. I've got my red and I'm going to try to put in some lines that show a little bit of shading in the black. Now, you don't have to do this, but I wanted to just make it look a little different. That's it. Just so it's not fully black. There's just a little bit of red in there. All right. I'm very happy with this. I hope you guys are happy with yours too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends. And remember, mom and dad, if you post your kids' art on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. The link is in the description below and in the About section of this channel. We'll see you next time on Alphabet Soup. Thanks for watching. Bye.